the death of UFC superstar Elias Theodorou has left the entire fight world stunned. The middleweight had been battling liver cancer for quite some time now and was only 34 years old at the time of his passing. Elias was an exceptional fighter with an amazing MMA record of 19 wins coming at just 3 losses. Keep watching this video as we tell you more about Theodorou's legacy. First up, not just an amazing fighter, Elias Theodorou had a gift not many fighters possess. Not only was he an amazing athlete, but he was a very charismatic person outside the cage too. The 34-year-old always had a smile on his face and never let the fame of being one of the biggest names in MMA get to him. Theodorou's fame wasn't just limited to the fight world though. People from different professions love spending time with him, including musical artist Adam Hunter. This guy was such a bright light. After hearing the shocking news of his death, Hunter, along with a ton of other celebrities mourning his passing, called him one of the best people they've met. Even during fights, Elias would have a huge smile on his face and always treated his opponents with the utmost respect. The fighting world will truly miss the presence of such a gifted fighter and a wonderful person. Next, a true champion. Theodoru might not have had the best of careers at the UFC, but that doesn't mean he wasn't a champion. The 34-year-old won the Ultimate Fighter Nations middleweight tournament, putting away guys like Dan Kelly, Sam Alvey, and Cesar Ferreira. His last appearance at the UFC was back in 2019 on May 4th when he took on the dangerous Derek Brunson. Elias may have lost that fight, but he put on a solid performance and showcased the skills of a true champion. He had a brilliant run at the promotion, scoring eight victories against some of the meanest guys in the division, coming at just three losses. Apart from fighting, Elias would always be making headlines. He was a male ring card boy for the all-female MMA promotion Invicta. We're not gonna lie, the Canadian middleweight was loved at Invicta for his amazing sense of humor and warm personality. Elias was truly a kind, humble, and charismatic personality who will be missed greatly by all. This was tweeted by Invicta's official Twitter handle after a representative confirmed he had lost his life after battling long and hard against liver cancer. While we're pretty sure Elias got the best of treatment, we're still a little confused why he chose to battle it privately. Maybe all the support from fans and fighters would have helped him get through the difficult time. But still, stage 4 liver cancer is no joke. Maybe it was just meant to happen. Moving on, a pioneer of many things. Elias was, without a doubt, the pioneer of Canadian MMA. He inspired countless youngsters to follow in his footsteps and make a name for themselves in the dangerous world of combat sports. But Theodorus was also one of the first advocates for marijuana usage in the world of MMA. Believe it or not, the 34-year-old was the first fighter in the U.S. to secure a medical cannabis exemption from the USADA. Now that we think about it, it makes sense why he was so vocal about having it removed from the USADA banned list. Medical cannabis probably helped him cope with the pain and stress of battling cancer. Senior Vice President of Athlete Health and Performance for the UFC, Jeff Novitsky, also tweeted about how Elias had always been a huge voice for fair and equitable treatment of marijuana use in MMA and sport. Our hearts go out to Elias Theodorou's family and loved ones. He'll be greatly missed by the entire fight world. Let's talk about his crazy will and determination. Honestly speaking, we could have never guessed he was going through something so terrible. But when we look back at his will and the crazy amount of determination this guy had, it kind of makes sense why he chose to battle it privately. Theodorus entered the UFC with a bang. He got an amazing TKO win over Sheldon Westcott back in 2014 to win the middleweight tournament. That too on his debut. Elias went on to put away Roger Nervaez and Bruno Santos before suffering his first professional loss against Thiago Santos in 2015. Now this is where his determination comes in. Instead of dwelling on his first professional defeat, the Spartan returned as a completely different fighter. He had no known weaknesses at the time and it seriously felt like he would only stop after lifting the middleweight title. Elias won five fights back to back, outstriking his opponents by huge margins. Like even in his fight against Daniel Kelly in 2017, he landed 118 strikes while his opponent could only hit him 42 times. His win streak finally ended when he fought Derek Brunson in 2019. Theodoru still managed to boss Derek around throughout the fight, but unfortunately couldn't match Brunson's exceptional takedown abilities. The last time Elias ever fought was last year in December against Brian Baker at an event called Colorado Combat Club 10. And just to think this guy was still fighting despite suffering from cancer is just mind-blowing. Elias the Spartan Theodorus has left behind an unforgettable legacy that will always be cherished by fans and fighters all over the world. Rest in peace, champ. Time for some more on the UFC. Up next, spilling the beans. MMA analyst Brett Akimoto has given the whole Kamzat missing weight story an entirely new twist. Now, we're not really sure whether this is true or not, but Brett claims to have talked to Kamzat's coach, Andreas Michael. Apparently, Andreas thinks that Wolf's next fight will not be at welterweight anymore, and instead, he'll probably be fighting someone from the middleweight division. If we had to guess,
guess, we'd probably go with Paulo Costa, but we're hoping that's not true since he's so close to the welterweight title now. But that's not all his coach had to say. In fact, he spilled the beans and changed the entire story, claiming the doctor had nothing to do with the weight cut. It was actually Kamzat who chose not to cut weight. What? Does this mean Mini Khabib was right about Chimaev spending the entire night at a restaurant eating and drinking sparkling water? Also, out of all people, why would his coach say this? Things do kind of make sense, but we're not going to believe it until there's some concrete evidence that Kamzat didn't make weight on purpose. Even Dana said that UFC doctors advised him against cutting weight, so what is Brett even on about? Now, for living the retired life. After announcing his retirement from UFC, Khabib has been enjoying life. Along with running his own fight promotion, he's also been spotted in Islam Makachev's corner, teaching him the ways to maybe become as dominant as himself. But ever since he became a coach and promoter, Khabib has let himself go, as he's clearly enjoying the retired life. The undefeated UFC lightweight weighs around 204 pounds now, 205 if he has dessert the night before. He used to be around 190 pounds on normal days before cutting to 155 for his fights. The Russian claims it started to take a serious toll on his body after leaving him very exhausted and drained. He even had to be taken to the hospital back in 2017 after a botched weight cut for his fight against Tony El Kukoy Ferguson. But anyway, we're guessing he's enjoying the luxury of being a retired fighter now. No more dieting, no more weight cuts, and a lot more dessert. We're hoping Patty doesn't hear what Khabib thinks of retirement, otherwise the Brit will probably look to win the title as soon as possible so he can retire and eat whatever he wants without paying too much attention. Finally, he still doesn't care. It's impossible to not talk about Kamzat these days. It's almost as if he's behaving like a spoiled little kid who doesn't care about the do's and don'ts of the promotion. Fans and fighters both have been calling out the wolf for missing weight and then smiling about it like nothing happened. But despite all the backlash, Kamzat is refusing to cave in or apologize, claiming he still doesn't care about what happened at UFC 279. One day they're with me, one day they are not with me. Well, we're not gonna lie, he does have a point there. It seems like Kamzat understands the wicked way of the promotion, and maybe that's why he's decided to be true to himself. The Wolf also said that he doesn't care what people think of him. The only thing he cares about is his family, his career, and his money. Fair enough. But someone should remind this guy that without the fans, he's pretty much nothing. So it's best to bow down every now and then if you've made a mistake. That's it from our side, folks. So what do you think? How did you react when you first heard of the news of Elias passing? And were you shocked to find out he was battling cancer? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more original content in the future. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.